Today I have a bow and tea haul. They have a collaboration with Drea. I saw it pop up on my Instagram timeline and I thought I had to try it out. I've never tried their collab before, so I thought this would be a good chance to do so. I picked up a few sets, so I wanted to show you guys. The first set I have is the set that I have on, and it's in this peachy color. I have the bra top and then I have the matching leggings. I'll show you on the model hair. I'll start with the top. I like quite a lot of support from my sports bras and this bra is definitely, I'd say more of a light support sports bra. It does have these single straps and then it's got padding in the boobs and it just goes straight to the back. It doesn't cross over or anything. I think it's okay. I don't really like padding in my sports bras either. I find that in the wash, they tend to twist and turn inside. But there is a place at the side where you can pull them out. So I'd probably take mine out. When I go to the gym, I'm usually working out quite a lot. So I tend to run quite a bit and I don't think that I'd get enough support from this. I would probably also go down a size. It feels quite big. I think if you're quite busty, then stick to your size. But if not, then probably go down a size. The straps here are not adjustable either. I think I would have preferred it if it maybe had a thicker strap across the top here and if it was a smaller size. I think if you're just doing at leisure, you know, wearing it around the house or wearing it to the shops or casually, I think it's absolutely fine. I do feel like I have enough support, but not enough support to like do a proper workout. If I was doing something like yoga or something slow, then I'd probably pull for this top. It does feel comfortable. It does also have the Bowen T logo here, which I think is really cute, but I think mine's upside down. <laughs> so I don't know if that is maybe a manufacturing fault. The leggings though, I love. So the leggings are super high-waisted. I did pick everything up, I believe, in a large or a medium. I will put links to everything down in the description box. I'm usually a UK size 12, and I'm, I'm actually quite tall, so I'm six foot tall, and these leggings go all the way down to the ankle, and I have loads of spare room in them. Like, if I wanted to pull them all to my boobs, I probably could, so I really love that about these leggings. I would also probably go down a size in these leggings too. I can sometimes fall between sizes, so if you're between sizes, then go for the lower size. I feel as though the leggings probably are a bit more supportive than the top, so I think in a size down, I would feel comfortable enough working out in them. They're not see-through. And they have the really thick band around the waist here, which I love because it helps to give a bit, bit of support to the stomach. I think that the, the leggings are definitely good. I definitely recommend it. So next I have this cream set and I really like this set. I love the colour. Brownie nudes have definitely become super popular and I do think it looks really nice. I love these shorts. I'm not really a shorts girl because I do often find that sometimes shorts are just too short for me and I don't really like my butt cheeks hanging out the bottoms and I can sometimes feel a bit restricted in them as well but these actually feel really comfortable. They come with a bit of stretch which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be like super cotton but actually it feels quite smooth and it is stretchy so I feel really comfortable in them they also have the bow and tee logo here in the middle and then the, at the waistband it's kind of ruched together which I really like I've never really seen that detail on a waistband same ruching detail also is on the bra as well the bra top I definitely prefer this bra to the other one. I think this one is definitely more loungewear focused. I think for lounging around the house, this top, it would be perfectly fine. I feel super comfortable. I would probably go down a size because I do feel as though there's quite a lot of space in it. But for wearing casually, I think it's fine. I think it does give me enough support and I do really like the waistband. I also prefer the thicker straps. So if you wanted to, you could always put a bra on underneath this. I don't have one on and I think that it would be fine either way. And then at the back, it does cross over. So I think crossover backs on bra tops, sports bra, casual bra tops, just feel a bit more supportive. So I really like this top and this set together. I think it's really nice. So this is the next set that I have. It is this beautiful brown colored bodysuit and it is racer style, and then the same shorts as the cream ones. 
I'm finding it really hard to pick between these shorts and those cream shorts because I really love the cream colour but I guess this colour is probably a bit more practical. They do fit in exactly the same way with the same ruched band at the top here. I know I've said it already but I really like these shorts. I don't think that I'd probably wear them outside just because you know, wearing shorts outside is not something I tend to do very often unless I'm abroad or on holiday. But for in the house, I just think they're really, really good. And then the bodysuit is comfortable too. I don't have a bra on. I will say that the materials of all of these items is really, really good. Everything's very thick and nothing is see-through, which I can really appreciate. I know that Old Polly and Bow and Tea are probably a bit more expensive than maybe the average fast fashion brand, but I do think that it's worth it. I can definitely tell the difference in quality in the items. I do believe the bodysuit does come in other colours too, but I really did like this brown colour. And it has snaps at the bottom. It is a Bong detail and the snaps come in two rows so you can snap it looser or tighter and there are three so it is quite secure like i said i don't have a bra on and i do feel really supported it feels really comfortable guys i do think that this is probably one of my favorite items from everything that i've got so i am considering picking the bodysuit up in a few different colors because i think that it would be a good essential to have in your wardrobe it does have the bow and tea logo at the back right at the top between the shoulder blades which is fine you can't really see it but it is a nice subtle detail let me know what you think of the items down below guys i'd love to hear what you think have you guys tried bow and tea before i haven't but i definitely am impressed so far so i will show you the next item that i have Okay, so this is the next item I have and I think I love it guys. It is quite daring because you can't really hide anywhere, you know. It is a full catsuit. I don't know if you'd call it a catsuit or a jumpsuit, but it is an all-in-one and it is very figure-hugging. So I, I probably have to be in the right mood to pick it up, but I really like the colour. I think it came in the cream colour. Now I'm kind of in love with that cream colour. I think I might consider picking this up in the cream colour too. I would definitely wear this around the house. I'd feel fine. If I were to wear it out, I'd probably put on maybe a jacket or, you know, a long shirt just to kind of make me feel a bit more comfortable. But it is super stretchy. It is that thick material. So I, I think I have tried on something similar. I can't remember who it was by, but I definitely feel as though this one is really good quality. I don't feel naked, which I can sometimes feel when I wear things like this because it's so figure hugging and because if the material isn't that thick, you can just feel really revealed. But although this material is stretchy, it does still have, kind of have a bit of stiffness to it. I wouldn't suggest going down a size or anything like that. I would suggest sticking to your size. What I also like is that the short part of the jumpsuit isn't super short. So you can kind of put it down or put it up depending on how you would prefer it. I also really like this square neck here and the halter bit is nice. The halter bit is not adjustable. So you do have to pull everything on and then pull it over your head, which probably wasn't the most comfortable thing to do. I also do feel a bit of pressure on the back of my neck. So if you are quite busty, do bear that in mind that you will feel the weight of your chest on your neck a bit. I'm not really sure if there's anything they could have really done about that other than make it adjustable, you know, make it tied. And I'm, I'm not sure if that would take away from the style of the jumpsuit. It is really quite high at the back as well, which I like. It doesn't show much of your back, which I like. There is space in here to put a bra on if you wanted to. It would probably have to be strapless just so that you don't see the straps here. But this jumpsuit really gets a thumbs up for me. I have managed to get my lipstick on it, trying to pull it over my head. But that is the only thing that I'd probably say was a bit uncomfortable to do. It doesn't have any zips or anything anywhere. You do have to step into it and pull it up. And if you want to go to the toilet, you will have to take everything off to go. So. That's something to also bear in mind. All of the bottoms did also come with like a sanitary strip on the inside, which I think is always a good idea for bottoms. It doesn't have that ribbon running through it, which some of the old Polly's items tend to have on them. These all came with just tags, 
which made everything a bit easier to try on so i like that too let me know what you thought of the items i picked up for today's haul guys i am actually quite impressed i really like the cream set and the terracotta leggings and of course this jumpsuit thing so i am quite impressed for my first try let me know if you've tried out o t before down in the comments i also wanted to give a shout out to one of my subscribers all things love tea do check her out she does also have a youtube channel thank you so much for watching and if you're subscribed already thank you for your support if you're not subscribed i post videos weekly and they are all luxury lifestyle and fashion related i would love to have you and i will see you in my next video bye